hi guys thank you so much for stopping by welcome if you are new or welcome back if you are a subscriber thank you so much we appreciate you in this video we are going to be showing you our barbie box balloon setup that we did for our knees last month it was the family decor here you can see john helping us with the balloon and my nephew my niece Alpen is bringing the balloons inside uh, for some reason some of the bunches just flew away and we had to run to get them it was so funny because there was people passing by and it's always funny to see somebody just running after balloons um, you can see my husband bringing the balloon and the tables that we're gonna use because we are gonna be doing a picnic set up for my niece um, she is the only daughter of my sister so she is really really girly and we wanted to spoil her and on her birthday she has three brothers so she really really needed that girly time and of course her tia was gonna make sure she can enjoy her birthday in a really really special way and just let me apologize in advance it was really really early saturday no it was friday friday morning and i was literally in this house close because like i said this is for my niece so this was my sister's house and i was just like literally just super casual in my dressing and how the sure say coffee please yes i needed some coffee because we went to sleep super super late we are in summer vacations with the kids and uh, we went super late to sleep and i wanted to set up this early in the morning because she was gonna be celebrating with her friends that afternoon um so i wanted to set up way before my sister need to place the all the stuff the sweets the treats and all of that to make sure it was everything in place and for the barbie box as you can see my husband setting it up it's super practical because it opens it's not just a whole box and um, and here i'm gonna just attach some french's in the back because um it doesn't have no back and it's gonna look almost unfinished so i'm trying to attach the fringes with the tape that the fringes come with and i actually did it i had to put two because it was two um i didn't like how it looked with just one two so i'm gonna attach a double one using the same tape that those fringes come with but i didn't like that it was like literally coming apart so i had to use um more strong tape because I know the girls are gonna be in, coming from the back inside of the box to take pictures so I needed those Frenches to be strong and we came to the house prepared with some bunches of balloon hot pink and soft pink and some coral colors because I didn't want to just use hot pink like Barbie hot pink um, but we, when we do color block we usually bring some bunches together and we add more at the place we are setting up because color block is always you cannot predict what you're gonna use because it depends how or what looks best To attach the balloons, I'm using tape and 260 balloons just to make sure attaching it to the box and the ones on the bottom are attached to the floor and my husband is just blowing up the starburst stars that I'm going to be setting up adding to the balloons in a minute. You can see my niece here helping setting up actually <laughs> her own uh, celebration and um, she loved it she loved to help me when 
every time we help my sister with something she loves to help us set up and just with whatever she can I have said it before when we do the color block technique we usually attach um, each color each bunch neck to neck and it's super hard because um, I have little hands and uh, sometimes the the necks are really short so you have to make a lot of force to make sure you put them together um, with organic look with organic technique we use a fishing line and it's all together already but with color block technique we do bunches and then put it together um, somehow the way we like how they look and here my husband is actually help, helping me because like I said he's stronger he has bigger hands so it's easier for him to do that and I don't know but I just realized how much I say actually and I apologize for that too because this is literally the way I talk and yeah I say literally a lot too <laughs> The color that I just attached together is shiny pink from Jamar and coral from Jamar. I think that they are all Jamar. They had pink, the um, the rose are Jamar, the white is Jamar also. That one that I'm attaching is um, macaron pink and it's for, from Sempatex. Sempatex? Like I said it before, there's a lot to like playing around with these bunches when we do color block technique. And always in the middle of every setup, I am trying to keep up with messages that I receive on my phone, emails or phone calls. Usually when I get a phone call when I'm in an installation or busy doing something, my husband is the one answering phone calls and it's uh, almost like 99% of the time he is gonna answer a phone call because I'm doing something I'm always doing something <laughs> Let me ask you a question because we were debating here to just do one side of the Barbie box so you can be able to appreciate the box and see. But um, because it was my niece's birthday party, I wanted the balloons to be big. So that's why I'm adding more to the side and you're gonna see in a minute that I'm gonna add more to the right side. We couldn't do that much in the left side because we needed the space for the girls to go behind the box and, and to go inside. And we have that door that goes to the backyard that a lot of the kids are gonna, were gonna be outside in the trampoline and stuff like that. So we couldn't do that much on the left side. And on the right side, we had the couch there. So we just did as much as we could but like I said my husband just wanted to do one side uh, you can appreciate it more what I'm talking about here uh, but 
yeah I wanted to do it big because it's for my niece and uh, my husband was like whoa now the box you can barely see the box the box is getting lost in there because the balloons are like so much you know um, while we decide what we're gonna do with that side I was adding the tables the picnic tables and all the platters um, and the table runner that I was gonna put in the middle I actually didn't have no hot pink I usually have only like light colors that I use for props and for stuff and as you know Barbie is like most of the colors is hot pink so this was the only um, hot pink that I had to use for the table runner it's actually a um, tablecloth but I just crunch it up to use it as a runner and I'm just adding little things here and there I wanted to do this as like a glam setup but uh, for the picnic tables I only have bohemian style stuff so I was trying to make it work with that and make it not so bohemian style because my niece if you know my niece she is not that vintage bohemian girl she is flashy and she likes bling and modern and all all big all flashy all diva or all, all all of that so i was trying to keep up with that but at the same time i don't have that much things like that because right now it's like the vintage and the bohemian style is so in so that is what the people ask me and that is what i have right now this is the first time that i was thinking to do something glam and something more um, bright colors My perfectionist husband just moving the balloons here and there to make sure they look perfect and you sign in those little goodie boxes or bags that my sister had for the girls they added so much to the table those hot pink goodie bags just completed the whole thing she still needed to put uh, the hot pink plates there but um, I didn't have the chance to record that and we'll take pictures with the hot pink plates but this is the way it came out my niece loved it like she couldn't stop saying it she loved it and um, all the little girls this is uh, my sister's living room so when you open the door when you go inside my sister's living room the first thing that you see when you open that door at the end it, it was this and it was big and bright so all the little girls were so excited just coming and finding all of this set up for them i hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and comment down below what do you think we have noticed that we have so many viewers for the popping balloons video so we are gonna bring more of those thank you so much and see you in the next one bye